This is a quick tutorial on how to get your sketch into Illustrator. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go down to your start menu on the start menu on the lower left and you're going to type in camera. It's going to pop up and then you're going to see a light and it's going to turn on. Then you're going to hold um, your paper up so that you can get the best picture of what the what you need. It's important that you hold your paper straight versus kind of at an angle because you want it to come in as straight as possible. So I've taken my picture. Um, the next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure that I can figure out where it went. I'm going to right click up on those three dots right up there. It gives me a save as function. Again, this is where you can go into your Google Drive file stream, into your VAT folder, and I'm not going to leave it this name, Windows. I'm going to call it Logo Sketch, and then I'm going to hit save. Notice my picture went away as soon as I closed out my camera. I'm going to open up Illustrator. Um, I'm going to go to File, New. I'm going to make sure it's in inches. And I might give you a file, but this just kind of shows you how to get it in there. Then I'm going to do File, Open. And I have to go back to my drive. And then there's my sketch. So I'm going to open that up right in Illustrator. If you notice, it takes up all of my screen. So I'm going to use my black arrow and I'm going to try to move it around. Uh, my goal is to try to get, let's say, this one. So I want to make it a little bit bigger so that I can start to work. So I don't need anything else. So I'm just going to build it on this first artboard. I'm holding down shift so as I start to make it a little bit bigger, I don't want to end up stretching out the aspect ratio. That's a decent size and then I can start to build it from there. The last thing that I need to do before I get moving is um, I like to have the gradient or the transparency turned down so it's not quite as heavy. So I open my transparency window, make sure that my sketch is selected, it'll pop up in that window, and I can go ahead and turn my opacity down. Now I'm gonna lock it. If you look, I have a lot of my picture that's outside of my page. It doesn't matter. I just need to work with this shape right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add a new layer, go down to the lower right hand corner and hit create a new layer. And this is where I'm going to start to build my shape. So I'm going to zoom back in. The first thing that I'm going to do is start to analyze what's going to be my best tool to create this design. And as I look at it, I feel like the pen tool might be my best option. So I'm going to start. I'm just going to add a fill color so I can kind of see how it looks as I go. And then notice that it wants to go straight, but if I follow my sketch, it's going to be angled. But because it was a sketch, I want it to be straight. I can come back in and curve that later, and then I'm going to go right back up there. I do want to make sure that the top of my letter lines up with the other top of my letter, so I'm going to leave those guidelines and use them as I'm putting this in. I'm going to try to wing it since I can't see. I'm going to switch it really quick. Again, I'm looking to see, is it staying in line? Now, 
Now, if I went down here, my shape's going to be a little bit different, but when I was sketching it, this is what I had in mind. So I was looking at how can I keep it even. So I'm really trying to pair it up with my other line. I think that's an important thing in a logo. And then I'm going to go straight back up to close it. So now I have the first component of my letter. I'm going to keep it separate. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. I'm not crazy about this, but I can come back in and round that out. Notice I didn't leave any stroke on my letter because it wasn't something that I was thinking about doing yet. Then I can come back in, use the pen tool, draw a separate shape. Again, I'm using those guidelines to make sure that it's coming up correctly. Flip my color. I'm going to come back and add that other extra thing in later. So there's my second shape. I'm going to make it a different color. And then if you look, I had like a little kind of angle there. So I can come back in with a third shape and add that. So I'm trying to look at how I can build my logo with kind of creating some of these shapes. So I'm going to hit escape to end my path. Well, it should escape out. There we go. So now I have that ended, but I just wanted that as a line. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to pick a different color. That's terrible. Um, where I can start to play with that stroke. So now that I have this, I can start to play with color. I can play with kind of changing my scale a little bit. Um, so I have my base built that I feel good about. The last thing I need to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to round this out. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move this to another artboard so that I can start to work at it without all of these distractions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on a new artboard. So now that I have it over here, I can really start to play with how am I changing it? How am I changing the colors? Maybe I'm tweaking the size to come up with multiple versions.